My name is Hubert and I come from Taiwan and I've been in the school for three years. I've been studying English about seven years. Um, I am Dan, I'm from Germany. This is my first year at SMU and I'm studying English for four years. Um, and my name is Mue, I'm from Japan. Uh, I'm, the, I'm in this school only this year, like from this year. And I'm studying English for four years. What about you, Mue? Any questions that you had before you came? We've been here now for seven months. We've been in class for seven months, so you really have a sense of what we're what it's about now. Mm -hmm. So, what sort of things did you have before well, you came? I didn't know about ESL class at all, so I was wondering how to improve our skill. Oh, how it was going to happen? How could you do it? Mm -hmm. And did you have you found something out? Um, mostly the reading, listening, yeah. just practicing. That's right, through doing. Lots and lots and lots of doing. So one of the other differences perhaps between an ESL class and a regular English class is that in the ESL class, the teacher sets it up in such a way that you're always doing something. The teacher isn't at the front talking all the time. You're the ones that are doing the talking. You're the ones that are doing the writing and the reading. So that the skills are developed, developed from doing. Yeah. Dan, any more? Um, I must say that what I speci specifically like on the ESL program is that we get like extra help if we don't finish stuff during class time. So we can come in during flex, during lunch, or even after school. Right, right. So you feel that, that help is available to you whenever you need it. Yeah. Right. What about in class? Do you feel that you get enough help in class? And um, yes, or even you say, or you say like, if you have a question, say like, stay behind after the class, and then you translate it or to to say it in a different way so we understand it. Right. I have a question. Do you get much help from from um, boarding friends for your English work? Well, sometimes. Especially your roommate is an English speaker and you have this little grammar and <clears throat> you can ask him right away. Yeah, that's useful. Yeah. What about house parents? Yeah, like we can ask a lot of questions to house parents. Right. So you feel that you get lots of support with your English. Do you, do you practice a lot of English outside of the classroom? Yes. Yeah. We like speak in the most teams like only English. Right. Hi, I'm Melanie. I've been studying English for eight years. This is my first year as well. Where are you from? Hong Kong. Hi, my name is Andy, and I've been studying English for about seven years now, and it's my third year at SMU. And where are you from, Andy? Oh, I'm from Korea. Hi, I'm, my name is William. I'm French. Uh, I've been studying English for three years, and this is my second year at SMU. Do ESL students get extra time to write tests no. in any of your subjects? No. 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 Do you think you should? I don't know. I don't think we like, need extra time because it's kind of unfair for the other students. And if we want to keep up, we should like we should be the ones who like that are doing extra work. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Probably. Probably because there'll be lots of times in your in in provincials and various SATs, TOEFLs, where you won't have that opportunity. So probably one of the good skills to learn is speed. Yeah. Um, how many teach ESL teachers do you have? Two. There are two. Two? two? You've, you've all got two? Yeah. And what does your other teacher teach you? Uh, socials. Socials? Mm -hmm. yeah. And how does that program work? It's, we basically learn the same, like, same things, the, the regular, uh, regular social students like study but we like we have different textbooks yeah. different so, textbooks yeah okay but and the teacher takes like he like slows like his words down so we can understand what he's saying and yeah what what do you actually study in ESL socials histories history what yeah. from where history of what um of canada canadian history yeah, yeah. And are you in regular socials, Will? Yeah. Okay, how's that for you? It's really hard. <laughs> what makes that so hard? The teacher's really fast, and yeah. 
Is the is the workload fast? Does the teacher talk fast? What what do you mean by fast? The teacher talks fast, and we have we he would he writes a lot, like really fast, and he doesn't uh, wait for students. Okay, so it's it's quite a challenge, right? Okay, um, I have another question. How much speaking do you do in an ESL class typically? How much? How many? How much opportunity is there for you to speak in an ESL class? If you want to speak, you can speak English, like right. whenever you want. Are you allowed to use your own language? No. Everyone in Borden are from other countries, so right. yeah, English is like the only language you can like talk. To right. Them. Right. So you get used to it. Yeah. Um, what part of speaking in the Eng in the ESL class do you feel is the most useful? What activity that we do do you feel is the most useful for your speaking skills? Like group work and like for example we like we were we were told to like do like a project in s like social class and we were in like groups so we were like we met after school and we like spoke English the whole time. My name is Nina, I'm from Switzerland and this is my first year at SMU. My name is Johan and I'm from South Korea. It's my first year at SMU. My name is Andrew and I'm from Korea. This is my third year for in Smooth. Yeah. Well guys, first of all, were there any questions? Nina, I know this is your first year here. In fact, you came in January. Were there some questions that you had before you came that you just were really wondering about? I was wondering how my English is going to improve and if it's going to be good enough to go to the normal English 11. <laughs> okay. And do you feel like your English has, is improving? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's good. Do you think you'll be re ready in September to go into regular English? I hope so. <laughs> what about you, Johan? What were some questions that you had? My question was how will the ESL teacher would, um, how is she going to teach me like, to be better in English than regular classes? Okay, so how, how has your English te ESL teachers taught you that's different? She goes into more details and be specific about what my problems were and I get extra help from her. What do you think is the best part about being in this class? The best part probably would be um, you can get more helps, more amount of uh, helps from teacher because regular class there will be more like students so you can get more helps from your teacher. Okay, what about you Nina? What do you think has been the best part about being in this class? I think um, everybody is learning English and so um, you can ask for every vocab you don't understand and nobody's going to laugh at you. Right, <laughs> right. So you're, everybody is in, you feel more comfortable. Yeah. How about you, Andrew? Uh, you feel more freedom. Like, you, when you speak English, like everyone's learning uh, English for the second language. So you don't, like, no one really laughs at people. People. Right. right. Yeah. Everybody, everybody is in the same boat, as the expression is. You know, you had a question um, when you first came about what the timetable for an ESL student looks like. What have you discovered? That it's only English and social studies in ESL, and the other classes are in regular English. <laughs> so all regular classes. So for example, regular math class, what others? What, let's list some of them. Science. Sciences, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spanish, French, and drama. Language. Right, languages and art and choir. Mm -hmm. What about um, opportunity for sports teams, Johan? Have you found that you have a good opportunity to play the sports that you enjoy at St. Michael's? Yeah. What is the sport you most enjoy? Soccer. Soccer. So when is that? When's the soccer season? Um, well, it started last term. Like at the last week, it was tryouts, and it's gonna carry on for this term. Carrying on for this term. Yeah. And 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 do you, do you find you use a lot of English? Um, 
Yeah, you need a lot of talking in soccer, so yeah. That's good, yeah. I'm Clone and I'm from Taiwan. It's my second year in Canada and it's my first year in SMU. Thank you. Well, getting back to boarding, um, we were talking about your activities in boarding, but you also have house parents in boarding. Paul, can you tell us a little bit about what a house parent does in your life? Um, they uh, organize our uh, house activities and they're like our uh, father and mother. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> they care about us a lot. So as a father or a mother, is it someone that you can go to when you're having... Yeah, when we have like problems, we can just go to them and talk to them. Do they have special hours or are, you, are they available at pretty much any time you need yeah, them? Yeah, pretty much any time. Oh, that's pretty good. Cologne, what about if your roommate has really different ideas about when to turn his light off? Does that ever happen? Some roommate likes to read till 3 in the morning? Uh, then you have to talk to him. Like, yeah, you guys, you guys have to talk. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sarah, what about for you? Now, um, now my roommate and I, I'm having a similar habits to sleep late or wake up early. And okay. So we don't have any problems with that. Okay. I have a question in terms of, I think, just in terms of your whole life at the school. What, the question is, what do you think is the biggest pressure that you have being a student here? Which, whoever wants to answer first. I think the language problems is kind of difficulty for the students up from different countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Has that gotten better as you've been here yeah, longer? It improves a lot. Right, okay. But at the beginning, that's probably that's quite a struggle. Yeah. Do you get any specific support at the beginning in, in boarding for that? Uh, yeah, you, you can go because there's students from your country too, right? right? And you can go just, just ask, ask them. Right. Oh. Some schools there's peer pressure, you know, where, where you're sort of not considered a, a, a very cool person if you don't smoke. Is that a problem at our school? No. So what's, what's the main peer pressure here? What, what do your peers expect you to be good at in order to fit Socializing. in? Socializing. Socializing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But even though they're not really socializing, they have friends, like mm -hmm. always in boarding. Yes, there's always somebody, yeah. Uh, I'm Sherman, I'm from Hong Kong, and this is my third year in St. Michael's. One thing that I just want to bring up, I don't know if you guys even know, Sherman is a little bit unique in that his, both his sisters went to St. Michael's as well. His eldest sister was here about nine years ago. She started grade nine and his middle sister graduated about two years ago. So there's been quite a long history of poons at the, family, at the school. All right, question. Testing. You all were tested in order to get entrance into St. Michael's. Um, Paul, what, do you remember what the tests were that you wrote? Um, I had an original slap test. Slap test, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about everything. That's and all you had? Yeah, an interview. And an interview? Do you remember anything other than that, Cologne? Well, for me, I had a phone interview right. while I'm in Taiwan. Oh, okay. And I got passed, and I came to SMU, and then I had a slap test. Right. Yeah. Okay, and, did, and what about writing? Did you have some writing, both of you, to do? Oh, writing yeah. and math are in, uh, in all. In, it's included yeah, in it's the all test included. of it. How yeah. long did the testing take? About three hours. Three hours. Yeah. <laughs> three hours yeah. So you did it here? Yeah. Paul, and did you do it here? I did it here too. So, so everything was done here? Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I had an interview in Taiwan. Right. And in the phone. Yeah. And then you came over. Yeah. Sherman, it was a while ago, but how did, how, do you remember where it was for you? Uh, I had a phone interview and a um, slap test writing in Hong Kong. Okay. I was in Hong Kong. Okay. What was the um, what was the hardest part of the testing process for you, Cologne? Mm, the writing part, I think. Okay. What aspect um, of the writing part was hardest? The time factor. The topic? the time factor and the the topic. I think you have to figure out which topic that you could choose, and then that you can put more 
stuff in it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And reading part, I think, is kind of hard because it's the first time that you had this kind of test, and then there's lots of vocab that you don't know. I think for right. most of students. Yeah. Okay. What about for you, Paul? Um, listening and uh, reading was pretty easy compared to writing. Okay. But the writing part, I had to think a lot. Okay. Then, yeah. I have one final question for each of you. If you had a piece of advice to give a student who is applying to SMU, who wants to come to SMU, who will be writing the ESL tests, yeah. will probably be accepted as an ESL student, is there one piece of advice that you would give to them today? Okay. <laughs> Sherman, is there anything that you would give? Any piece of advice? Talk much. Talk a lot. Yeah. 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 When they're students during the testing process or just when they get here? Just just talk yeah. like with anybody. Yeah. yeah. And probably not to be afraid of talking because <laughs> people will still understand in some way. What about for you, Colum? I think you try your best, mm. do your best, and then put your efforts in, and then, yeah, that's pretty much that I did. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Paul? Some piece of advice you give a new student to the school, um, ESL student to the school. After you came here, or before when you come here, like, I think you should um, read a lot of books in order to just, for preparation. That's a good piece yeah. of advice. Any suggestions? And book, and yes, any book probably, suggestions? Yeah. Shakespeare. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> probably you won't necessarily have Shakespeare in classes either. Animal Farm. Animal Farm, yeah, okay. Um, any, anything else? I mean, what would, you, what would have helped you, do you think? What kind of reading would have helped you? Uh, probably uh, uh, non-fiction rather than fiction, actually. Okay, okay. Did you, did you feel like you might have needed to know something more about Canada before you came? Yeah. Would that have helped? Yeah, it could have helped our, our uh, socials more. Maybe. Okay, okay. Would you, was there anything in, in Canada that surprised you? So quiet. <sighs> so, that's it's quiet. Cool. Yeah. Compared to Hong Kong? <laughs> Yeah, so the, so the quietness... People don't rush, they go slowly for everything, I think. 